Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. A few minutes ago, Ubiquity released Unify Protect Application 2.0.0. This comes with a lot of improvements as well as bug fixes. What we're going to do, we're going to download it on my UNVR Pro and then take a look at some of the improvements. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find me on Twitter at MacTelecomN. And if you'd like to support the channel, the best way to do so is to use my Ubiquity affiliate link that is in the description below. Before we get started in updating the Unify Protect controller, we're going to create a backup. So I'm in my UNVR Pro. We went down to the settings wheel and went to system. I have automate cloud config backups turned on. That's enabled. I'm going to create a new config backup. And Mac Telecom UNVR was successfully backed up. So now we could go and update our controller. I'm going to go up to updates. And under protect, we could see that there's an update available and we're going to update it. This should take only a few minutes and then we should be up to date at 2.0.0. One of the first things that they added that's new in 2.0.0 is on this floor plan topology. My cameras aren't located like how it's showing in this picture, but if we went to my doorbell camera and hover over it, it will show us a picture of our doorbell, which I think is pretty cool just if you're quickly glancing at that camera. Another major upgrade, if you are lucky enough to get one of the G4 doorbell pros, it adds package detection. When everybody got theirs last week, this feature wasn't there. I still don't have mine yet, but should have it tomorrow. And we'll check that out in my full review video. Next, we have a feature for low latency video streaming and how we turn that on, we go to our settings wheel. And then we scroll down to other configurations. We could see this low latency video and it's a part of their labs right now. I'm gonna go ahead and enable that. So this should make our video streaming smoother. As it's still in lab, that means kind of it's still in a beta feature, so we'll see how it goes. And the next new feature that is in Unify Protect 2.0.0 is device group management. So we have this device group and we could add a new group. What this does, if we go back to our dashboard, we could see that we have 10 cameras and we could see everything. If we create a device group, we need to give it a group name. I'll call it front of house. And then I'll select the cameras that are at the front of my house, my right side driveway, middle driveway, G4 Pro, and then the G4 doorbell, and then we'll add it. Now going back to the dashboard, we could see device groups. The 10 cameras are the default if we select front of house, we can see we only have those four cameras that we put in the group. That's a really good way to filter groups of cameras. Now a smaller update is when we hover over these thumbnails, it will animate it. So if we go over where this car is showing, it will show an animation and we could see the car popping in and out of the display. And now in addition to the playback is they've add this adjust camera picture. So right from the camera playback, we could adjust the picture if we'd like. If you do scroll back on any of your video footage, the adjust camera picture is grayed out. We can't do it. We could only do it when we're in the live view. Now there's been a couple changes when we click on the camera in the UI. This controller here is on my UDM SE, which is on the previous controller version. And the one on the right is on 2.0.0. You can see that they call it recording mode now. They used to call it just recording. We have our recording mode and then we have our schedule. And then we have this new detections to record and then detection record settings. And everything else was in the old controller. So under detections to record, we have our motion detection. And then we have our smart detections where we could select person or vehicle. And under the detection record settings, it's seconds of motion needed to trigger detections uh, before motion detections and then after, which we did see in the old controller. And I believe this is new for the doorbell message. I just have the normal standard G4 doorbell. Maybe the G4 doorbell pro is a bit different, but we could see the doorbell message and it says welcome. And it's always going to be on. We could also click leave package at door. And then we could set the duration that we want it to be on five minutes all the way up to always. Or we could create our new message. We could just say hello world. And then we could give it a duration as well. Now there's a few other things for the PTZ camera, which I don't have. So it improves PTZ zooming and it starts PTZ keyboard mode by default. We could also send animated thumbnails for our email notifications, which is really cool. And there's also a whole lot of bug fixes, but we're not going to go through that in this video. I will leave a link to this release down in the description. I think the biggest update here is the package detection for the G4 Doorbell Pro for those who have gotten it. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. Again, if you'd like to support my channel and are buying Ubiquity gear, we do have that Ubiquity affiliate link. 
If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.